So tonight, a guilty verdict tonight for a man who defended himself in a case of murder against him. A case playing out for more than a week in Isle of Wight County. And only 10 on your side has been there every step of the way for this case against Eric Saab. He's now convicted in the death of Jean Marie Smith. 10 on your side's Joe Fisher continues our team coverage of this case. Joe? Well, Tom, Eric Saab said before sentencing on second degree murder that Jean Marie Smith's blood is not and never will be on his hands. Meanwhile, prosecutors and Smith's mother say they are 100% confident he's a killer. And in the end, the jury agreed. Relief. Three years after Jean Marie Smith was shot in the back of the head and left in the woods, a jury has found her best friend, Eric Saab, guilty with a 33 year sentence. In my heart, it's not enough, but it's better than a not guilty. It's better that that he goes to prison and he doesn't get a chance to ever hurt anyone else again, at least for the next 30 years. Saab, a self-described con artist with a rap sheet for stealing identities, defended himself at trial. He admitted to changing his story four or five times about Smith's whereabouts and purposefully misleading investigators. Yet the whole time, he maintained his innocence. Anybody that's walked through a town where there is a law school could have presented the case better than he did. Prosecutors say Smith died the very day the two returned from a trip to Florida. They presented cell phone records that put them in the woods together and say Saab's DNA was on Smith's clothes and ankles, where they believe he dragged her through the woods. She was relying on him for the last two weeks of her life for everything that she had. And after the 15th, she just disappears and he wasn't worried in the slightest. Mary Jean Smith met Saab on a political chat room before introducing him to her daughter, never thinking he would move here. Investigators say Saab fled Oregon to avoid prosecution on financial crimes. It's pretty much tore me up. She wants people to remember her daughter as kind and trusting, a 25-year-old woman who served her country and obeyed the law. This, this world really is a lesser place without her in it. And Saab will be formally sentenced on July 10th. He told the judge today he plans to appeal the conviction. We're live in Iowa County tonight. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.